Hello, everyone. I'm Kelsey Lemon, Senior Sales Enablement Manager here at Autodesk. And today, I'd like to walk you through a demonstration of Autodesk 360 collaboration for Revit. But before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to give everyone an overview of the project that our design team will be working in for this presentation. It's a medical facility where the project is comprised of architectural, structural, and MEP models that have been created by three different firms. Our architectural team is comprised of Greg Rodriguez and Paul Sanderson. Mindy Patel's firm is contributing the structural design. And last but not least, Paula White's firm is contributing the MEP design. And at the end of the design segment of this presentation, Hans Close will highlight some of the Autodesk 360 collaboration for Revit review capabilities that he specifically enjoys. Now, pay attention to the color coding that is associated with each team member. It's being used to show who's currently working within the project. And despite the fact that all three companies are located in different parts of the country, we'll be able to demonstrate how Autodesk 360 collaboration for Revit will enable them all to collaborate and communicate project updates in real time. So let's begin with a scenario that shows how a simple change to the architectural model can create a chain reaction of sorts that impacts the other disciplines. And as each project member reacts to that change, you'll be able to see how Autodesk 360 collaboration for Revit gives them all the ability to do so quickly and easily, ensuring that all of the team members are working as efficiently as possible. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Greg, our primary architect on this project. Hello, everyone. I'm Greg. Everything that I'll be doing in this demonstration will be highlighted by an orange border around my workspace. In this scenario, I've just received an email from the principal designer that the square footage in rooms 1201 and 1301 need to be increased. Before I make the change, I can alert the whole team by the communicator tool. This tool is great because it offers team chat capabilities within the Revit environment. As I begin to make the requested modifications, I notice that my colleague Paul is in the same architectural model and currently owns the walls that I wish to move. Paul and I are in the same office, but rather than send him an email or walk down to his cubicle to request access, I'll just send him a request and a quick note via the communicator tool. Paul, did you get my request? Indeed, I did, Greg. For everyone in the audience, all of my actions will be highlighted by the green border in my workspace. Greg, I see your request and I'll grant you access to those walls. I'll also reply via communicator tool to confirm that you have access as well. Perfect, thanks, Paul. I see that the request has been granted and will finalize the request to modify the rooms by moving these specific walls over two feet. With these changes, I'll update the architectural model so that my other teammates can see that it's been updated. I'll also capture a screenshot and send it via the communicator tool so that everyone on the project can see the specific change. Mindy. As a structural engineer who's leveraging the architectural model for your design, I'm sure this modification will have an impact on you as well. Indeed it does, Craig. Hello, everyone. I'm Mindy, the structural engineer. My firm is on the other side of town, but A360 Collaboration for Revit gives me complete project access no matter where I am. Before I begin, I want to point out to everyone that all my actions are being illustrated by the light blue border around my workspace. Greg, I see your note, and I also notice that the architectural model is being synchronized. 
I'm going to reload the latest architectural model by going to my Manage Links option. While I'm waiting for the link to update, I can see the screen capture of your changes. Luckily, this change won't require a complete rework on my structural design. I can update my structural model to accommodate this change rather easily by simply moving a few columns and beams. To modify the location of the columns, I'll simply move column grid 11 over two feet. I'll also need to adjust the beams that are connected to these columns. I'll have to do this twice to account for both level views of the roof. With the changes in place, I'll do a quick review of the update in 3D to make sure everything is accurate. Everything looks good. I'll just notify the team of my update via the communicator tool before I synchronize my model updates, complete with a brief description of my specific model changes. I should also point out that all of the activity associated with this project, including model syncs and comments, is being captured in the project tab, which acts like an archive and keeps everyone updated. Now I'm going to turn it over to Paula, our MEP engineer. I'm sure that you'll like to weigh in on these project changes. Hello everyone, I'm Paula White. My firm is contributing the MEP design to this project. Like the other project members, all of my on-screen actions are color-coded. My border color is purple. I see both Greg's and Mindy's communication of their model changes via the communicator tool. I'll just respond that I'll check to see how their changes may impact my MEP design. I'll just wait a moment for both models to synchronize by going to the Project Activity tab. As soon as the updates are done, I'll reload the latest updates. Once the update is complete, Revit notifies me that a coordination review is necessary. So I'll go to the ceiling plan view to adjust the diffusers and light fixtures to match the room change. I can move the diffusers to optimize the airflow through the room and move the lighting for better illumination. Once this is done, I can go to the HVAC plan to determine if relocating the diffusers and light fixtures have caused any clashes with the building systems. After completing the review for interferences, I see that no clashes have been created as a result of my update. Now, I can save my changes and sync to Central. As I do so, I'll add a comment to help all project team members know what changes I made to the MEP model. Now that I have notified the team, Using the communicator tool, I can head home for the weekend. Thanks, Paula. Hello, everyone. I'm Hans Klose, the principal of the architectural firm. When I initially asked Greg and Paul to adjust the size of the rooms in the architectural model, I knew that the changes would need to be communicated for the other teams that were leveraging the model of their work. As you just saw, Autodesk 360 Collaboration for Revit is a great tool for project collaboration. It ensured that everyone had access to the latest models, whether they were within my firm or members of the extended design team in the other firms. That ability is great, but as the principal of my firm, I especially like its ability to allow me to track updates via my mobile device. As you can see, here is my initial request to adjust the size of the rooms. Now that I know that all of the updates have been modeled, I can look at the model on my mobile device in 3D. I have full access. I can rotate, pan and zoom. I can also look at all of the sheets associated with this project. This mobile access is perfect for me because I'm rarely in the office. With Autodesk 360 Collaboration for Revit, project access and updates are available to me whenever and wherever I need it.